Hello guys, welcome to another one of my crappy videos. Um, just come up to the retro room and I'm about to play some homebrew today. Um, well, this evening. And it's going to be this little chappy here, which Explorer 2, <coughs> which was part of the um, the crash annual. It's one of the sort of add-ons that you could add on to the to the things last year. Um, there's a main reason I backed it actually. I got I wanted to get this and there was a new Saboteur game which I was quite excited about. Um, so I backed it for those two. The Saboteur game turned out to be a text adventure which I'm not that keen on so uh, that was a bit of a disappointment. But yeah this was, was quite a good game and I'm about to play a bit of it now uh, so I'll show you it. Um, I never read these instructions, I suspect a lot of people don't but this uh, inside quite nice pictures there inside and the story is the Mars Corporation has reassembled the arsenal on the ashes of the first battle a new space base has been built uh, your task is to find a nuclear bomb and destroy the reactor in the depths of the enemy outposts by dropping the devastating weapon on it pay attention to your fuel level you can refuel by either landing on a docking station or by destroying fuel tanks a like classic scramble um, along the way you may find precious minerals, collecting these will reward you with bonus points. So yeah, that's about it really. Um, I'm just having a look, because I haven't dropped a smart bomb yet. So yeah, it looks like it'll be, if I find a smart bomb, which I, I haven't found, um, I'll see if I can drop one. <laughs> anyway, pop that back in there. Uh, for the control, I'm going to be using this little chappy, which should have been in my November pickups. I don't know if that's focusing or not, but yeah, it's a um, cheetah. I think it was the brand that did these. The bug. Very little controllers. These so I used to mainly, mainly use that on my Amiga, but it works well on the Specky also. So we'll spin that round. Hopefully that should be pretty good focus. As good as it's going to get on my crappy camera anyway. I'll pop the light out and jump in. Yeah, cool looking game. Pretty nice and colourful. These are the little refuel things here just below me there. And you get a nice little trail behind you as you can see. I've seen that on other games before, but it's always nice. And a bit of a little um well as the name implies, I suppose, a bit of a exploring around type thing. You can land, but you've got to be careful sort of touching things from the side. You can sort of land on the flat surfaces. As long as you don't push down on them. So we've got one of the jewels there, one of the gems. Unfortunately, with all these types of games, even the sort of more basic ones, I get lost really easy. So uh, I I'll keep sort of going back to the same places over and over. Oh, I don't remember coming here before with these two jewels here. Oh, that's good. That little enemy died himself. So I think I can squeeze down there. Yep. You can't touch those red things there, those red lines. I tried going down here. Another gem. Nice little refuel depot there. Uh, the good thing is these little ships, if they hit those little red lines, that kills them as well as you, so that's quite cool. I'll get that. There you go, see, killed himself. So as you can see uh, on your fuel gauge there, I'm refueling while I'm sat on that thing. Fuel up, because yeah, your fuel goes quite quick. So I'll try down here. There's one of the bombs. That's good. Look at that. You can't go past those lines, as I mentioned before. I don't know if, you, if there's any way of destroying them, but. Oh shit, yeah, that's a bit dodgy when they spawn in like that. Right, did I come from this way? Can't remember. Probably already been down here. Oh no. And there's those fuel, fuel stations that you can. You get a little bit of fuel back, not much. Yeah, pretty cool game. I definitely would have really, really liked this if I'd um if I got it back in the day, back when I was a kid. Uh, I might be going backwards at this point. Aha, there's another bit of bomb there. Get that one. Oh shit. 
thought I was going to get away with that. Okay, get out of there. Oh, you bastard. Right, we've got two lives left. So I think that is an extra life there as well. Yep, there we go. So I don't know if I can like squeeze up there. Ah, I can fit, but I can't go up. I'll try it in this bit as well. No, that's too narrow. Oh, shit. Okay, I'll, I kind of want to get a bit further than I normally do. Ah. Oh, oh shit. I haven't been to this bit before. Oh. Oh, come on. I thought I was invincible for a little bit when you <laughs> when you spawn in. Ah, oh, bollocks. Oh, okay. Oh. Try again anyway. See if we can get a bit further this time. Right. See, I've already can't remember where I think I came down here last time. Might I'll start going the other way so we can see some different bits. Ah, oh, how's that for a shot? Two for one. See before. Got that, got that. Oh, oh. that's going to keep going. I only just noticed those little red things there. Oh, oh. oh that was close. All right, let's go down here then. I think I've been there. <clears throat> oh, oh, <laughs> I didn't know they came down from there. Uh, I think that's as far as I can go there anyway. life and the last old guy there oh shit i didn't gain me much did it <laughs> anyway i'll uh, probably end the video there because um I, i'll always sort of die similarly really um but yeah i just sort of show you that little game not not one you see too often um good fun game you can probably download it somewhere i expect um but yeah thanks for tuning in i'll catch you on another video and that is all <laughs>